Hey folks, it's Bill Whole Life Soaps up here in Brentwood, California. It's a snowy day. I have the day off and I'm going to make some soap. And today I'm making my uh, tobacco and bay leaf soap. I, I made it over Thanksgiving and it sold like hotcakes. Um, I didn't quite like the way the design was on it, so I'm going to redo it today. I'm going to pour it in three different layers. So I've got three molds set up, so I'm going to use a third of this in each one of these. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't, you know, I'm not crazy measure like some people are, but... Um, I've got my oils all, they're all ready to go. I've got my lye ready to go. And I've got my tobacco and bay leaf fragrance from Brambleberry ready to go. Um, each layer is gonna be a little bit of a different color. Um, I've got a bronze mica for the center layer. I've got an evergreen mica for the bottom or the top. And then I've got an apple moss green mica for the remaining layer. So I'm gonna kind of sandwich in between two different greens this bronze one. And this one kind of fades to kind of a dusty brown, which is what I want. So, you know, let me grab a spoon and we'll get going. As you know, I gotta put my stuff in. So we're gonna start with, I guess we'll start with the evergreen. This is a 15 pound batch. I'm gonna put three or four half teaspoons in, which is plenty for the color that I want. Let me slurry it up real quick. I wish it would keep that shimmery look. It's so awesome when it's just in the oil, but it solidifies when you add this guy. So let me get the lye in there. And we will get this going. So now the color is starting to incorporate. Okay, so... trace right now which is what I want so move this aside get my molds down just gonna pour it about a third in each one just like so I don't like making a mess so I'll rotate through Find if I reach over the top and try to pour it, it'll spill up. And I don't want that. Grab a spatula real quick. So the next step, the next step I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a pencil line on top of this. And a pencil line is when you take a little bit of a dust of, of a color and you use a, uh, there's a lot of things you can use. People use tea, uh, um, 
little tea balls that you can use for uh, loose leaf tea. Um, I like to use uh, a, a small little shaker. Um, but I'm gonna use a little bit of activated charcoal powder. And because the activated charcoal powder is very light, I don't wanna breathe it in. So I'm just gonna put a dust mask on just to limit what I have to suck down from that. Do this so you kind of cover the whole thing as best you can. And then I'll move on to the next one. I'm just about out of charcoal powder, so I will pause this video, get a little bit more, finish this up, and then we'll come back, okay? All right, everybody, I'm back. Uh, so what I did is I made that, uh, that pencil line using the activated charcoal powder. And I'm going to just kind of scoot these again out of the way because I've got to blend up another batch of soap. So now we're going to do the middle layer. This is going to be that, that bronze mica. Notice that these glitterier ones tend to they tend to aerate a little bit. So I'm gonna put my mask on. I'm gonna need it on later. I know you put the charcoal, but I don't like to breathe that stuff in. It's probably not good for me. You can see it coming up. Once it gets all into the oil, it's fine. Let me grab my lye and get my scent oil too. I want to make sure that's ready. I've already got it weighed out, it's just ready to go. See, it's a real pretty kind of tan color, and it's going to go well with those greens. trace that I like to use. Not everybody does, but it is what I prefer. Okay, so again, just like last time, 
I'm going to rotate these through, although they're heavier now. And uh, I waited about 20, 25 minutes. I've made another batch of soap while this has been setting up, and I'll do that in between this layer too. I don't want to pour that and have it dig a hole into this. It does happen, but if you, uh, if you pour slowly, or if you can use some sort of, like if you've got a helper who can use an angle pour for you, where you pour off a piece of metal or plastic, it, it lessens the force of the flow. But this is nice and hard. Okay. This one looks a little bit low. I'm going to put it in the middle. Okay. So We've got these all poured up. Now we're going to add that pencil line again. Let me wipe my finger off. I don't want to get wet soap into my charcoal powder. All right, so. I'm not using very much. I'm not even using a whole quarter cup. Maybe an eighth. I'm just spreading it around. Just use a little at a time, see how much you actually need. You don't want to go crazy with it. See, that's really all you need to do. So there'll be a dark line of black in between each one of these, in between each one of these uh, layers of the color. Okay. I am going to, um, before I pour my last bit, 
I'm gonna take a paper, I'm gonna take a paper towel, maybe this towel, I'm gonna to soak it with some um, isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just gonna wipe the edges of the mold off because I don't want all this extra charcoal powder flying all over the place once this is dry. You know, when you unmold it, it'll poof, and I don't really want that. So it, activated charcoal weighs it down. I mean, uh, isopropyl alcohol weighs down the activated charcoal, and then, then it, you don't have to worry about breathing again. So anyway, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, and in about, make another batch of soap, and then uh, in about 25 minutes, I'll come back and do this last layer. Although if you're in video land, you won't notice a difference, okay? Thanks. All right, guys, I'm ready for the last layer on this soap. Again, I'm kind of pushing these out of the way so I can work here because I just want to show you. I don't normally do all this over here. I do it over at another station. But um, this is the Apple Moss Green Mica. And it'll be a slight variation of color from the other green. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit duller um, for this particular soap. I think... What I envision in my head is going to look pretty cool. So this bottom third, remember, is that evergreen mica, so it's a little bit brighter. And then in the middle, we went with that bronze that's going to be kind of a, a, a tannish color. And then the top will be this particular green. So let me get this mixed in real quick. <laughs> sparkly as its bronze counterpart, so it's not going to fly up like the other one did. But let me add the lye, and then we'll get started. All right, here we go. You see it's going to be a lighter green than the other one, which is what I want. Getting there. Let's add our scent. Perfect. Okay, set this over here. Put these in place. I did clean up the edges from the excess charcoal powder already. They've been sitting here for about 25 minutes, so they should be, for the most part, pretty solid. I don't mind that some of that charcoal powder comes up off the middle layer and does that. It's kind of a cool effect to the top. And they get heavy. As young as I used to be. Whew. There we go. Last one. Here we go. Probably put a little too much. And the other two, this one's a little on the short side, but it'll be all right. It's not that bad. All right, guys, that is it. That is tobacco and bay leaf. I'm going to let this sit here for a couple of days, and I'll probably mold it later in the week. 
But to get it unmolded, I'll post the result on Instagram um, and on Facebook. So if you follow us, you know, check us out there, okay? Have a whole life soaps, all right? Thanks, guys.